Hello YouTube. Today I've got a special for you. I finally built my router and it's finished. I'll try to boot it up if I can get the power plug in. It's in a S411 case, I think. It got a fan alarm that screams if a fan dies. Um, custom, like dirty, like 100 megabit fiber switch. No, not the fiber switch, uh, Ethernet switch. I built a cable for it. I'm gonna clean it out real good before I put it to use. The power for that comes from the power supply from a Mulex plug. And down here I've got some cable management. I'll rip open the cage and show you the insides of this beast. It's running Smoothwall uh, Express 3.0, I think. So it's a fairly new operating system. Intel Pentium 4, uh, 2.0 gigahertz, I think. And stock fan and a um, quiet fan. I don't want the noise since it's gonna be in my bedroom. Over here we got one more fan blowing air. A big 120 millimeter fan. A low end graphics card. Most like routers and servers and shit don't need graphics. So I got the most. Uh, power convenient card I could find which has about 4 megs of memory uh, two networks cards I'm gonna chase out the top one for a 1 gigabit card also in the back here I've got 1 gigabit and the motherboard so it's gonna be a 1 gigabit on the LAN side and 100 megabit on the DMC side and here is my fan alarm and I've get down some cable management in here uh, I'm using currently an ID hard drive only one hard drive in the system since Smoothwall does only require one drive power supply and Antec 430 watts so this is my system also, I'm not running an uh, optical drive, I'm not running any drives in the front. And this black thing over here is a uh, homemade hard drive silencer cage. And that sound was it just booted up and is ready to go. And yeah, that's what I'm trying to show you guys. You don't need to pay a lot of cash to get a router. You can actually run this from like uh, Pentium 2 with 128 megs of RAM. I've got 768 megs in this machine. And I think that will be enough for my fiber optic line. I'm pulling about 100 megabits per IP, so it's 200 megabits in total. I'm gonna pipe. 100 megabits to the server and 100 megabits to the workstation so I'm guessing it will be fast this is my computer well m most of it it's gonna go back to repairs and then I'm gonna get a new one a quad core I'm so happy about quad cores and it's gonna go with DDR3 memories and a whole lot of other shit. A, a one kilowatt power supply. That will fucking own. That computer, I can't wait to get it. It will be amazing. Over here, I've got my Voodoo Slim machine buried in some cardboard boxes because I don't have any games at the moment to do reviews at. Because I looked at Tomb Raider over here and it has way too high system requirements it says here uh,
Pentium 3 1.4 GHz. How the fuck do they get a Pentium 3 to 1.4 GHz? Graphics uh, actually could run on the minimum. But this came with my uh, 8800 GT card, so I don't know it will be well. Maybe it won't. I'm gonna give this game a test, and then I got this is a striker installation disc, Company of Heroes, another Company of Heroes box with three CDs, another one with three CDs, and yeah, that's it. The computer has been broken a lot of times and they sent me a lot of like CDs. Also, my breakfast. And this CD my brother and I burnt. And as you can see, the burning is off here in the middle. And then it burnt like out here. And then from here and out it didn't burn. And this was in a burnable DVD to the like television that had a hard drive, so it should have burned it so I can like use it, but I can't. It's a focus DVD. Anyone knows about focus? Give me a call or a holler on YouTube or something. And yeah, that's it. This is my room, by the way. Kind of messy, but. Yeah, I hope you can see something. I'm currently remodeling, so bear with me. It will be better when I get it finished. Yeah. This is what I got to show you for today. Also, NVIDIA released working drivers for the 9800GX2 graphics cards. So now I can use them in SLI. And you should be able to spot the green glow that yeah we can see the green glow from them that should work in SLI and it does work in SLI also I can use two screens while running SLI and that is purely amazing they did a hell of a work thank you YouTube and don't forget to subscribe if you have parts for my like Voodoo machine. Uh, just hover. Bye, man.